All right, what's up, Hell Divers? Willis here. We're back with another video. Also, someone mentioned in my last video that this actually looks like I'm holding a selfie stick camera when I do this emote. So, yeah. Um, guys, brand new Warbond today. We've got the Democratic Detonation. We're going to be taking a look at it. I've already gone over the weapons in detail for pretty much everything on this Warbond. So, if you want to take a look at everything like reviewed and stuff like that, We've even made like a tier list, which I think is the best weapon. Um, go to the top right and click the cards and you'll see uh, a link to my Democratic Detonation video. But with that being said as well, we are giving away a copy of Democratic Detonation in this video. So if you don't have the 1000 uh, super credits, I will provide that to the winner. All you have to do is leave a like on this video, leave a comment and make sure you're subscribed. That's it. Um, as well, make sure to leave a red heart in your comment. So... I wanted to take a look at the war bond as well they've just added some new ship upgrades yes there's a bunch of new ship upgrades which are in the game i think around six in total we'll go over those in a sec but i just want to take a quick look here at the premium war bond the new one so let's take a look so it looks like on the first page we are getting the thermite grenade um i think this is s tier just because of the fact that you can throw it at charges and it will burn through their armor extremely good we've got the new armor set here let's actually take a look what perk it's got so increased throwing range no new perks there we've got the br14 uh adjudicator this is honestly extremely ass it's only got medium armor penetrating i think it's probably the worst weapon out of all of the weapons on the democratic detonation um we've got probably the best armor in the game i think is the fs55 devastator armor this is i'm pretty sure the heavy armor and then obviously the helmet to match it You've got the cloak here, you've got the emote, and you've got the grenade pistol S tier weapon. Um, especially if you're running bug missions, run this pistol. It can actually destroy bug nests. Yep, it's got eight grenades in total. It's like literally having eight extra grenades. It's terrible at destroying uh, like a normal or small enemy, so don't use it there. Um, the exploding crossbow, really good. It can destroy fabricators in one hit. It can destroy bug holes as well. I actually skipped over a page here. I, I guess I scrolled too quick. Um, but we have the Expert Extraction Pilot. This will basically lower the time it takes you to extract on missions. And we've got the cool armor set here. The red and the black. It's probably my favorite one. And probably the best weapon on the entire Warbond is this weapon here. The R36 Eruptor. I'll go into more detail in this later in the video. But basically, this thing can destroy bug holes and fabricators as well. And it's a primary weapon. Now... If you're running this, I would really recommend running a support weapon with it. Just because it's an exploding sniper. You can't really shoot stuff when they're rushing at you. And yeah, if your sidearm is the grenade pistol as well, you've kind of just screwed yourself. So try and run at least a sidearm that you can use or run a support weapon with this thing. But yeah, that was just a quick rundown of the Warbond. It is a thousand super credits. Do I think it's worth it? Mm, yes, just honestly because of the grenade launcher pistol like i'm basically just gonna buy this warbun just so i can unlock the grenade launcher pistol and have it as my new sidearm um i probably won't run around with the crossbow as my primary or the exploding sniper i mean it would have to be very situational but other than that i think it's a great warbond um but yeah let's take a look at the new ship upgrades which they sneakily slid into the game so i've actually got all the ship upgrades and all of the stratagems and when i logged in this morning and saw that they added new ones i was like god damn it how much are they going to cost? So it looks like they've added one extra for each of, I guess, the compartments of the ship. So here's the first one, the Patriotic Administrative Center. We've got the Superior Hacking Methodology. Wow, that's expensive. 150 of the normal credits, 150 orange and 15 purple. So basically what this will do is resupply boxes, refill support weapons with the maximum number of carryable magazines. So... Whenever you get the resupply boxes, normally they will only fill it like half, I think. I remember with the railgun, it would only give you 10. So now I'm assuming it will give you literally all the ammo back. So that's pretty handy. Do I think it's worth this much? Probably not. I'm not going to get this one first. Um, next, the orbital cannons. What have we got? We got the atmospheric monitoring. Orbital HE barrage spread reduced by 15%. Now, I am a avid user of the 380 millimeter HE barrage. And the thing is with this barrage or these barrages is they they seem to drop in a very wide area so it's kind of easy to kill your teammates this little extra 15 percent reduced spread will sort of minimize the area and i think will be extremely good it'd be good if you could 
like toggle this one on and off when you wanted like wider spread and shorter spread but it looks like as soon as you buy this you are sort of restricted to the I guess the tighter spread of the explosions but still I think this will help a bit with not killing teammates um next up we have the hangar we've got the xxl weapons bay so the eagle stratagem that drops multiple bombs will drop one additional bomb so the eagle air strike the eagle smoke strike the eagle cluster bomb oh god and the eagle napalm strike so you're gonna get a double cluster bomb and a double napalm strike so if you're a user of these two i really don't use the eagle air strike or the eagle smoke bomb uh, yeah, you're going to get two. So two for the price of one. Pretty awesome. Next up, we've got a bridge upgrade, which is the enhanced combustion. I think a lot of you um, flamethrower users are going to like this. So fire damage from these stratagems are increased by 25%. So the flamethrower just got a turbo buff. Yeah, 25% increased fire damage from the flamethrower. The eagle napalm airstrike and the incendiary mines. I think this is probably the best one out of all of them apart from the xxl weapons bay enhanced combustion i'm definitely going to buy this i think probably for my second one next the engineering bay we've got the circuit expansion lightning arcs fired from weapons and turrets jump to one additional enemy so the arc thrower and the tesla tower will now arc to one extra target be very careful if you don't have the uh, electric conduit perk on your armor or you're going to get zapped uh, unfortunately, this doesn't work with the, the primary arc weapons. It seems to be only the uh, the stratagem arc thrower and the Tesla tower. Pretty cool. And then finally, with the robotics workshop, we've got the blast absorption. Sentries will now take 50% less damage from explosions. Half the time, whenever an explosion would land near a sentry, they would just get instantly destroyed. Maybe it's going to just kill them anyway. I don't think 50% less damage from the explosion is going to like keep them alive, let's be honest. If they get shot by anything, they're just going to instantly explode. I think this should make it so they're just immune from all explosion damage. That would make them actually decent to use. Um, but yeah, that's been all of the new ship module perks. It doesn't like we have any new stratagems right now. Someone was saying there was a bug where you can't actually buy them. But unfortunately, I don't have enough of the orange credits right now to even test that. So let me know in the comment section down below. Also, has anybody noticed this or is this just me? The automatons have fleshy bits and guts. Like, maybe I wasn't paying attention, but I never even noticed that, yeah, these automatons, or I guess the berserkers, have, like, guts on the inside, and apparently people are saying it's or it's like always been there. So, I don't know. Have you guys seen, like, guts inside the automatons, or is this something we should be worrying about? With the new flamethrower buff, I feel like this would be perfect. Arrowhead, could you allow us to aim the flamethrower downwards? while we're using the jump pack so we can obviously f just blast our enemies as we're just launching on top of them this would be the greatest the greatest update if we could just aim down while flying with the uh jet pack but it looks like you sort of pull it up as you're uh flying down but that would be awesome this is the coolest thing i have seen on red i'm not even kidding you i love lego this person has made a full lego hell divers 2 uh model set as well with instructions so if you didn't know there's a massive community out there that make these custom i guess like sets and they will publish the like instructions on how to build it with just normal lego they have done a full hell divers i guess set a fourteen thousand piece set for the super destroyer and it actually looks insane a 2200 bile titan uh piece set a 916 pelican set literally they have everything even eagle one uh, and this is made with completely just lego lego that's already out there for you to buy so if you want if you're an avid enjoyer of lego and you want to build any of this stuff do it because i am as soon as i'm done with this video i am going out i'm buying all of these <laughs> lego sets and yeah i'm going to just build myself a full hell divers just lego i love that it's awesome so quick PSA as well for the Eruptor rifle. If you're not using it, it destroys bug nests. It's really freaking good. As well, if you're running automaton missions, the Eruptor can also destroy fabricators. Check that out. And yeah, moving on to some quick leaks. Um, shout out to Iron Sight. He's modeled this very creepy automaton centrifuge mixer. And I have no idea what the hell this is. But apparently, it's this vile thing. It almost looks like a backpack. 
and the centrifuge mixer will be a regional objective with this icon the goal is to basically destroy or disable the mixer what are the automatons up to this thing looks crazy but i hope you guys enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like guys and once again leave a comment subscribe with bell notifications turned on guys for a chance to win a copy of democratic detonation the new war bond in helldivers 2 and if you guys aren't already i'll be picking the winners over in my discord so make sure you're in my discord hope you guys have an amazing day and i'll see you guys in my next one peace